everyone we are here live on youtube and uh it's exciting mm, what's up everyone uh grace is here she got some popping lipstick uh and you might be noticing that uh we we're, we're dressed kind of similarly again you know? uh, again like <laughs> yesterday thanks for those who came yesterday to the fall guys stream with the shadow and moika that was super, super fun. fun you can go rewatch it it's still on youtube we were wearing the golden host shirts yesterday but you'll notice today we're wearing the uh, boy, boy shirts, yeah, <laughs> which are available on the Athmau Teespring store. Uh, actually, uh, hang on. You look at the chat. I'm going to get a link for the Athmau Teespring store. Also, my part is weird. Her, shows oh, mine. No. I, I, didn't, I didn't do a hard part today. It's just kind of messy. That's exciting. I love our shirts. And they yeah. feel really, um, they're, they're really, really like, soft and nice. But they're also, like, light and sporty. Because we uh -huh. got the hoodies, too, which we'll have to wear when it's cold in here. Yes. Um, And the hoodies are super, like, run outside, sporty, kind of. Uh, I walked Trevor in mine this morning, my hoodie, and it was so nice and breathable. Mm -hmm. It's not like a big, like, clunky sweater. Yeah. You know, it's like a... Like a nice, breathable sweatshirt. There's the link for the Afmau Teespring store. And Diamond just got it, too. So, hey, good on you, bud. Woo! Uh, <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love you. Oh, my gosh. So, we're back in Dream Daddy. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to the game because we have to do three dates today. That's our goal. Goal is to do the last three first dates. We have Damien. We have Brian. And we have... Joseph. Joseph, yes. So we have to do those three first dates today, and then we'll probably do a poll. We'll, maybe we'll cut down to three second dates. Uh-huh. Um, so everyone has to comment who you want us to do a second dates with, because we're not going to do second dates with everybody. Uh-huh. We'll just pick, like, three or maybe Our four. Our favorites, the you know. favorites, kind of, and do second dates with those and narrow down as we go. So mm -hmm. let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Date some dream daddies. If you see me looking back here, I'm just checking on the puppy to make sure he's not being naughty. He's yeah, got, he, he back here. He's got a whimsy in his bed right now. Aww. Okay, so you've got dads. We got a message from Matt. Okay, let's see what that is. Stop. 
taking the M off Marshall. Not nah, Marshall. <laughs> his amp. He's been chewing on his amp. I, you know, I really ought to put the cover case on that. Okay. Hey, Topher, what are your feelings about poker? I only know how to play Texas Hold'em, and I kind of forgot. Yeah? Yeah. Beyond hardly knowing her. And uh, poker, I hardly know her. <laughs> That's gross, man. I think I got to click on that. Yeah. Poker, I hardly know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There's a line. It's like, that's what I said. There it is. There it is. <laughs> well, good talk. Bye. <laughs> Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually <laughs> obligated. No, no, I get that. I forgot what voice we did for Matt. It was this husky one. Was it? Yeah. It was pretty cool, but not quite as husky as Robert. No, it was more like. Wow. It was more like, just woke up. Yeah, pretty, having some pretty coffee. cool, man. Yeah. Anyway, we've uh, been playing weekly poker games, and I figure I should send an invite your way. Oh, Matt, you shouldn't have. Aww. That sounds great. I love losing money. <laughs> cool, cool, dude. dude. See you soon. Lose that money. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This just a regular event, not a date. Uh, and no, uh, you guys who just came, you are not late. We're just kind of, we're actually starting. Like, we're starting. Like, we're not doing, like, a 20-minute uh, We've only been talking, streaming for seven and, and a half minutes. starting. But, yeah, we literally just started. Mm -hmm. So, whoever is joining is pretty much right on time. Yeah. So. Matt invited me to a poker night at Joseph's house. I put on my going out coat and walk over. Across the way, I spot Matt, who's walking over from his own house. He's got a case of beer under his arm. Crap, I should have brought something. Hey. Hey, man. Crap, I should have brought some Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no worries, man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. It's a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. It's never really high stakes. Whoa! We, everyone's there. We pass through the fence enclosing Joseph's backyard. Craig, Brian, and Joseph hover around the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner, brooding as usual. <laughs> Telfer, glad you can make it. Oh. What's up? <laughs> what are they talking about? Guys, let the golden hose stay. Diamond, what are people wanting to get them away? Wait, what? What? I, I, I don't know. What? what? Uh, thank you, cool Sonia. So am I. I'm psyched to take all your money. I bet you look amazing, too. Oh. So cool. He loves his toy. Oh, good. Just like old times. Go ahead. Yeah, yes. Brian's. Uh, I right. have to remember who everyone's is. He's all right. Craig's a resident shark. We prefer the term person who's good at poker. I'm well aware. Craig's always been suspiciously good at poker. Mm -hmm. Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Poker face. Hey, I wasn't terrible. I'm not bad at poker. I'm definitely good at poker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone stares at me. By the way, this time I dropped our webcam, so we're covering our character, but we should be able to see all the dads this time. Oh, maybe just let us know if you guys hate that yeah. or not. Yeah, uh, we'll But see. you guys all kind of know what Topher looks like at this point. Uh huh. They can see his glasses. He's definitely not hair. as beautiful as the rest of the dads. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm bad at poker. Hmm. There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. <laughs> you're like, we can't pick Robert because I can't. Can he do that <laughs> voice long term? Yeah. Joseph shrugs. <laughs> This is basically my tithing. I'm giving back to the community. <laughs> Jesus, Joseph. Plus, I'm happy to just sit here and eat all of Brian's snacks. Yeah. That's Guess who brought voice? pigs? Yeah. Yeah, so. okay. Guess who brought pigs in a blanket? Oh. Eh. Not Craig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, my chia seed and granola energy balls are just as delicious. No, they're not. <laughs> Everybody laughed. <laughs> Everyone hated that. Yes. <laughs> Nobody liked that. Let's just get the game going. Hmm. We all take a seat at the table and Matt starts dealing cards. The first couple of rounds go by easily as I'm getting the hang of things, but it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Oh my gosh, I kind of have poker. Abby says she has poker face, Lady Gaga. Stuck in her head. Nice. I do too now. I like playing poker. Wait, I think she has a poker face video stuck in your head, like Lady Gaga poker face or something else. I don't know. Nice. Uh, Craig, how'd you get so good at this? It's pretty easy. You just start getting a feel for everybody's tell. Like Matt will scratch his ear. Can you hand down the Trevor? Hang on, where where is he? I gotta find him. Oh, there he. What? What is he doing? <laughs> he is under his bed, trying to trying to get it. Oh, buddy. <laughs> 
there is little chicken Hang on. Leg. Hang on. Can you hold the camera? Um. Give me just a sec. We gotta. We we gotta get a good look at this. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You ripped open your bed. What? Oh no, it's not ripped open. He did. The cushion is taken out. Oh, the cushion. Yeah, he got the corner a little bit. What the? Where is he? He's okay. under the bed. <laughs> what a nerd! <laughs> he's oh, he's playing tag. with the tag. Okay. What Put the that heck? Back. What the heck, Trevor? <laughs> also, now we're super zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's That's go. for someone to screenshot later, you know. Okay, zooming back out. <laughs> Hang on. If someone doesn't screenshot that, he'll be very disappointed. I will. I you'll will be, be, you'll be so like, disappointed. But... Y'all wasted a golden opportunity. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, that boy. Hey. Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hey. Oh. the heck? And I think you just loudly announce to the whole room when you have a good hand. Yeah, yep, that's me. Oh. <laughs> Stop that with the amp. <laughs> What's Joseph's tell? <laughs> everything, literally everything. The man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Well, I, at least I have God on my side. Oh. See? You can't even say that with a straight face. What about Robert? Hmm. <laughs> He's hmm. always lying. Honestly? That man's an enigma. Robert raises his glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. Mm. I think you'd wipe the floor with us if you actually tried. Mm. You can get Robert, since they're all here, you know? Okay. I'm just here because I enjoy the company. <laughs> <laughs> Robert pulls out his phone and stares at it. Oh. Robert? Is that a flip phone? Uh, He's yeah. old-fashioned. Hey. What, are you a drug dealer now? <laughs> Yeah, what do you need? Horse, speed, Tijuana Johnny's. Tijuana Johnny's? <laughs> what are t oh, Okay. I can get you the easy streets. The street stuff easy. But if you're looking for something exotic or desire, that's maybe 72 hours at your favorite bar. Maybe I won't need you today. Maybe I won't need you tomorrow. But someday. Oh, I, I don't really... I think I'm good. Right. Yeah. But still, if you got the coin, I got the gift. You know, we're all, I'm actually going to do this for this time. How okay, about that? Okay, 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 oh, okay. Cool, uh, no, Wait, doubt, no, that, doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no yeah, doubt, no doubt. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, good. Someone screenshotted your face. Oh, good. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good. I dropped my phone in the toilet, and this is a backup until I can get it replaced under warranty. Everyone murmurs their sympathies. <laughs> We've all been there. We go back to playing. I really got to stop eating these pigs in blankets. Uh, pigs in blankets? I don't know. But they're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Mm, yummy. Also, Dark Neptune 578, I do remember you. I'm glad you're back. Oh, yay. Boy. Boy. Okay. We got the boy shirt. Yes, we are wearing yeah. the buff boy shirt. I said I want one that says... Goral. Yeah, instead of boy, it's like girl. Goral. And then for the N for all the NBs out there, it could be like uh, non boinery. Yes. Something like that. I, I made that up in the car N today. NB. Non boinery. Non boinery. Non boinery. They can still be a boinery. Non boinery. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. Whoa, you think you can says. handle another one? Be my guest. Briar and Hazel are a handful, to say the least. Buddy, you think three kids is a handful? Try four. I'm operating at 100% dad capacity at all times. My mom raised five kids. Yeah. My mom has six brothers. It's a it's a whole thing. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Actually, it's technically five. Yeah. <laughs> Christine saw a commercial for one of those dolls that poop and wouldn't stop asking for it. We ended up getting it for her birthday, uh, but she's so grossed out by the fake baby poop that she makes me change its diapers. So now I'm changing the real baby and the <laughs> fake baby. <laughs> wow. There's just a lot of poop in my household right now. Yeah. Daisy got one of those a while back. 
One night, I woke up on her after she had tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mechanism worked, but then she couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop everywhere. <laughs> fake poop, but still. <laughs> I'm like, fake poop, her poop, my poop. It was a, it was a whole thing. <laughs> that reminds me of... Wait, do we all have poop doll stories? <laughs> Everyone nods in agreement. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, I really don't need any more poop in my life than there is already. Can we just get back to poker and not talk about poop? Nice. Matt deals another hand, and we quickly forget about the poop. We were, we run out of pigs and blankets, so we switch over to Craig's healthy <laughs> snack food. Wolfie Lichen likes the Nguyen Buinary. Oh, my God, and they spelled it. How? Do, wait, where? Where? I want to see how they spelled it. Nguyen Buinary. Non boinary. Yes. <laughs> boinary. Boinary. <laughs> it actually isn't terrible. Oh. I like it. These kale chips are phenomenal. We should sell these at the coffee shop. Someone's asking if we can stream with the gang again. Yes, we are planning on doing more in the future. Uh, we'll we'll just see when. You know. Yes. It'll be. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We want to do it again. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It's my own recipe. I'd be happy to give it to you guys. Hey, yeah. I can see it now. Here's the kale. Eh, uh, for Pierce the Veil. Yes. Yeah. No, no, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, closer? That was quite the yawn. I'm holding Trevor now because he was being naughty. He was being naughty. Pierce the Veil is a popular post-hardcore screamo band out of San Diego. Oh, so like no one knew who it was. <laughs> we all look at Matt, confused. Uh, it's uh, maybe not any of your wheelhouses. Yeah, he's like, um. Uh, he's like, I don't listen no. to screamo. How's the shop nowadays? Hey. Busy as ever. I'm toying with the idea of hiring another person to work the counter, but I haven't found a good candidate. Hmm. Hmm. If Amanda's looking for a summertime gig, let me know. That's really nice of you, but I think she's been burned too badly by coffee shops before. Literally, not figuratively. Hey. Matt cocks his head to the side. I'll ask her, though. We get down to the final hand of the night, and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph has long since lost all of his chips and has taken to tidying up, refusing any help from the rest of us. Brian deals us all cards. Oh. So, Whoa. It's, hey. <laughs> so it's gonna take for Robert to give a damn on this round. Robert looks up from his half-empty glass of whiskey. Oh, gotcha, Liv. I remember you. Yeah. I know it's been a little bit. I hope you had fun on vacation. Aw, nice. Cool. But thank you for coming back. Oh. And watching us. Yeah. Do you really want to unleash the beast? <laughs> well, now I'm curious. I got a long history of being a gambling man, but I'll only do it if you make it interesting. None of this penny chip nonsense. Ooh. I got a Lily's 18 year single blend sitting in my closet right now. What is that? <laughs> a Lily's 18 year single blend? Is that like a bottle of wine or something like that? I don't know. Was saving it for when oh, yeah. it, it's got to be alcohol because River turns twenty-one. I was saving it for when River turns twenty-one, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Ah. Mm. Now you're talking my language. He throws the keys to his truck on the table. Whoa. Hmm. She's seen better days, but she can still pull a tree trunk out of the ground. Nope. <laughs> my, myself and everyone else at the table immediately folds. Steal the cards, Bry Guy. Mm -hmm. Are you guys sure you wanna? You heard the man. Deal. Oh. Wow. Well, what would you put up as a bet in this type of game? Uh, An old truck and a really fancy bottle of alcohol. Hold on, I gotta think real quick. I don't have anything valuable. Yeah, I feel like mine would have to be like a guitar yeah or one of my more affordable guitars you know yeah i don't think i i just don't have valuable items mm. i can't have nice things i break yeah. them <laughs> <laughs> okay we need a ron shirt yeah where's ron he's been he's been uh m.i.a mm -hmm. Jeez, louise so i know what you might be thinking Robert puts his old workhorse up for grabs, his only mode of transportation. At times in his life, at, at times in his life, his only home. <laughs> How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I'll tell you right now, Craig. Mm. I wasn't always like this. Craig looks like he's like, ah. Uh... I was a lot like you, smart, talented, cocksure of my own luck, great biceps. But it didn't last long, though. I lost everything in a game of pie, pie gal in the back room of a, sh of a Shenzhen tea house on what I thought was three days business trip. Everything. 
gun, clothes, money, identification, you name it. Uh. I woke up in a ditch near, sh what is it? Shaiju? Shaiju, maybe. Shaiju Park and had to make my life new from there. Took me three years to beg, borrow, and steal my way back to American soil. And in those three years, I saw the greatest depths of human fear. Love deeper than I ever had. And lost it all more many times. Mm -hmm. I've seen my own death burn. <laughs> I know how I die. It's not like this. It's just sucking him out. So let's make this more interesting. Hey. Robert produces the deed to his house. <laughs> Why do you carry that with you? From his jacket and tosses it on the table. Oh. All I have and all I am. Are you prepared to go the distance? Huh. <laughs> Craig's like, what is, you need help. Craig wipes the sweat from his brow. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sword or tell <gasps> that he can Lincoln! find. Donated $2, thank you so Yay! much. Yay, thank you, really Wolfie Lycan. And we love you too. Oh, whoa, I love you guys. Oh, Yay. oh that's so nice. nice, thank you. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. Brian, hello. I, hello, you're always here. You're an OG, Brian. I fold. Hey. Aw. <laughs> Everyone erupts. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine. The whiskey is yours. Okay, it's whiskey. And that's why you don't dance with the devil. <laughs> so, uh, what was it? Were you bluffing or did you have the cards? That's for me to take to my grave, fellas. Exactly. It's like bad manners to ask someone's hand after you get them to fold or something. Brian isn't exactly oh. the most polite mm -hmm. person. Next week, boys. <laughs> Next week. Hey. Robert is Mr. Edgelord. Yeah. Yes, he is. And I love him. <laughs> you got it. Bro. I'll be there. Mm. Mm. I almost had a heart attack, but yeah, I want to be yeah, a part of the guys. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. They all look so friendly right now. This has been right very now. relaxing, and I sincerely doubt I will wake up in a cold sweat thinking about it tonight. <laughs> Keep working on that poker face, Topher. We all say our goodbyes and head our separate ways. Aw. So that was a nice activity. I would love okay. to like have a weekly poker night with the guys, you know. <gasps> Getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Oh, right cute puppy. After being so crazy, not five minutes Whoa. ago. All Look right. Look at him. Him eyes closed. Oh. So we haven't gone on a date with Joseph, Brian, or Damien yet. Shall we do Damien? Yes, I like Damien quite a bit. Yeah. So he is the. He's trans, which mm -hmm. I don't know if they mentioned that or if that's in like the Wiki official Wikipedia or oh, something okay. like that. Um, but yeah, he's trans. He's a vampire, most likely. He's a cool guy, very like old Victorian, mm -hmm. like you know, charmer mm -hmm. kind of guy. Damien seemed really interesting, a little odd, but interesting. I think I should hang out with him to get to know him a little better. I navigate to Damien's dad book page and type out a message. Oh my god. Wait a second. Um, um, small bean loves my makeup. I actually have an Instagram where I post my makeup stuff. It's mm -hmm. called uh, Graceful Glam with an underscore between graceful Quack. and glam. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I post things like every once in a while. But anyway, it's fun. Also, um, Fire Cheetah Girl. <gasps> Hi, thank you for the donation of two Hi. dollars. Hi, how you guys doing? We're doing great. I'm doing really good. We just got brunch. It was awesome. Yep, we are here with our boy Trevor. Chris treated, treated me out to, uh, mm. mwah, to brunch, and it was delicious. And mm. now we're ready to go and date some diet. Yes. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Hi, Eve. Thank you for um. Thank hey. you for supporting my shameless plug. Aw, <laughs> Eve. We love Eve. They are uh, great. They are wonderful. Aww. Okay. Hey, dude. You seem cool. We should hang out sometime. Oh, okay. But then he keeps typing and typing. <laughs> Man, is this guy writing a novel? I leave the computer to make some coffee. And he's still typing. I sit my coffee, and the computer finally dings. Over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. There's more. Uh, I must confess my excitement to receiving your kind letter for, as you see, I do find myself available to enjoy your company. I must ask for your forgiveness, however, as I believe our first meeting did not be me in a gentlemanly manner as I would have liked. Okay, so when we first met him, he was at, like, Dead Goff and Beyond, which is, mm -hmm. like, the hot topic of this world, and he was complaining about, uh, item, mm -hmm. and then we saw him, and now he's a little embarrassed about that. He's like, I'm ashamed you saw me in such a manner. Uh, no, being a Karen. Mm hmm I stare at the screen and reread the letter several more times. So he's like, I think he said yes. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, I yeah, was just looking. Um, so okay. I don't know. I mean, does Jess really do live streams? A lot of people. Are Not asking, really. Yeah. She, honestly, she she's doesn't busy. have time. Like she has all her kids. She's got her hubby. She's got a business to run. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, I don't think I can't see us doing a lot because live streams are kind of like a big time commitment. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I can't see it happening mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, actually, so we were streaming Fall Guys yesterday, me, Shadow, and Moika, and, and she me. and you were there, yes. Uh, and she did get on to play Fall Guys just to try it out, and she actually was talking to us last night. She saw that we were playing, and. Uh, since we were streaming, she would have joined to play with us, but probably not be on call. Sure. Because she's got her kids there, she's got all that. So, yeah, that's the other thing. She really just doesn't have time to stream, you know? Yeah, no, I totally get that. So, honestly, I mean, I bet we'll do more streams with Shadow and Moika, mm -hmm. but probably not Jess. Mm -hmm. So, just to answer all you guys' questions. We're also trying to get Mac in on our streams. Mac couldn't join last time because she and, I always forget her boyfriend's name, were visiting family for the weekend. So, they they weren't this time, but I believe uh, we're going to try and stream again this weekend and Mac is going to be there. No promises, but we'll see. Also, um, Nervin, I do remember you. Weren't, didn't you just join, like couple streams ago or something like that and introduce yourself i think so Aww. correct me if i'm wrong but welcome back nice okay hey okay. amanda can you help me with something that for the last time i'm not popping your back pimples why not it's great it's no. good fun no yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad but it's, <laughs> it's normal <laughs> no 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 can you interpret this for me i turned the computer to amanda and she squints at damien's message I just, I don't understand NetSpeak. Like, is this how you kids communicate with each other now? He's like, no, it's not. Oh, totally. This is the hot new thing. See, Dad, kids got over saying lol and lamau or whatever and decided that what they needed to do was bring it back to the 1800s. Wait, so who is, yeah, who is Mac? Someone's M asking who Mac is. Mac and Cheese, please. She's another AFMAO crew. Uh, I forgot her role, but she was in another series. She made a bunch of videos with us before. She's more doing her own thing and just does stuff with us every once in a while now. Okay. But she just got 100,000 subs, so congrats to her. That was Woo! like two days ago. That's super cool. Uh, you all should go check her out. Mac and Cheese, please, on uh, YouTube. What kind of stuff does she do? Uh, the same kind of stuff we do. Sure. Minecraft, uh, okay. fun party games, yeah, stuff Yeah, like that. that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Well, that'd be really cool to meet her and... Uh, yeah. Game. Mm -hmm. Do game. So what do I do? Mm. Why is there pen and quill? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill? Dad, how will we address the nobleman in regards to your upcoming Dubonte ball? Debutante ball. Du <laughs> Dubonte. What am I Dubonte. saying? Dubonte. Well, sometimes when you see Escal a word that you don't see all the time, you say it phonetically first, and then you're like, wait a second. Escalante Dubonte. Beautiful. Oh, she played Lorelai in My Inner Demons. That's what it was. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, now I know you're messing with me. <laughs> Father, without a proper chaperone, you'll never end up with a suitor worthy of our land. Huh. Or our dowry. Or... So you read Pride and Prejudice for school one time, and now you're reciting things you know about <laughs> it back to me, aren't you? Hmm. Like, the first five pages, then I read a review of the movie. Still gotta be, though. Wait, you have to move and look at Trevor real quick. Yeah. Look at this boy. Oh. Look at his ears. He's so cute. Yeah. It's gonna make people dizzy. Uh -huh. But yes, I agree. I feel the same way. Someone's asking, where's Afmao? Probably at her home. Yes. <laughs> uh, great. So what do I say to Damien? I got this. Amanda reaches over me and types on the keyboard. It's your thing, yeah. dude. <laughs> Regards. Yeah. Amanda hits send and smiles at me. That's simple. Well, I suppose that's that. <laughs> I make the short walk over to Damien's house. Well, I guess you can't really call it a house. It's more of a manor? Estate? The gothic architecture looms above the other homes in the cul-de-sac. Yeah, this home seems like it would really stick out in the cul-de-sac. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I walk past a couple of gargoyles guarding the front door and look around for a doorbell. There doesn't seem to be one. Ew, Excuse everyone me. loves a sleepy Trevor. Mm. Corgi? He's not a Corgi. He's not. He's no. a Chihuahua Pekingese. He's a Chihuahua Pekingese, and he is Trevor Belmont of the House of Belmont. Mm -hmm. I pull the large ornately carved bat's head door knocker back, and a hollow sound echoes throughout the house as I strike it against the door. <laughs> I wait several moments before the door slowly creaks open. 
It's a little creepy, but I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer, noting the oil portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. Whoa. Look at that dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog is that? It looks like a greyhound. Nice. As I'm admiring them, the front door slams shut behind me. I like the little sandwiches. Hello? Right Silence. An oil lamp in the corner flickers dimly, casting ominous shadows oh against God! the wall. Oh my God! SH Isolated loves loves the live video so much. Ah, uh, yay. Thank you. Uh, why do I feel like all the people in these paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it so cold in here? Where's Damien? Wait, so who do you want to voice? You can be to uh, Damien. I'll okay. take over Topher. Topher, pleasure to have you in my home. I look up and see Damien standing at the top of a majestic staircase with a walking candle holder. What's uh, what's with the door slamming shut? Oh, sorry. There was a draft. And the door creaking open when I knocked? Uh. Accidentally left the door unlocked. And the creepy oil paintings? I like oil paintings. Right. Look okay, at he looks. He's, he's like. like mm, I know. Mm. That's not very nice, Topher. <laughs> right. Was yeah, what's up? Um, a Sheba? He's not a Sheba. Or maybe you're talking about something else. Sheep. That's a Sheba. It's not a Sheba. Goodbye, Nirvan. Thank you for showing up again. Thank you so much for supporting us. Oh, yeah. I think, I think he's trying to see if the dog is a sheep, but it is being covered. But it is not. I will remove the event list and show you that is definitely not a sheep. A Sheba? A Sheba Inu? <laughs> Why not? De what? Definitely <laughs> like not. No, it looks like a greyhound to me. Mm -hmm. Speak right. up. What? Hello? Am I what? quiet? I guess when we're doing the soft Damien voice. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll speak up. Hmm. Okay. Please, let me show you around. Okay. Damien leads me around his house, showcasing his parlor, sitting room, auxiliary sitting room, and the parlor again for some reason. This is one of the older homes on the block, yes, but nowhere near as old as the architecture might suggest. <laughs> Through extensive renovations, I have been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with the amenities of any modern dwelling. We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tape, and a black parade poster. Did they listen to my chemical romance in the Victorian era? That's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenager years are. Onward, onward, there's more to see. <laughs> I know, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. <laughs> we reach the door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. Oh, Diamond was talking about the emote. Yes, that's a Shiba emote. Oh, okay. Perfect. And this is the library. Sunlight streams in from floor to ceiling arched windows. The walls are lined with packed bookshelves, and even more books are scattered over the period appropriate furniture. Damien is clearly really proud of this room. Uh ooh, look at the butterflies. Hey! I walk up to the glass display of pinned bugs on the wall. It's pretty impressive. Nice bugs. <laughs> I pinned them all myself. Maybe I could show you how sometime. Aw. I'm concerned I would stick the pin right through my finger. Ah, uh, the pinner's gambit. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> I walk to the window and I'm greeted by a beautiful view of Damien's backyard. It showcases a beautiful view of the rest of the cul-de-sac. Hey, I can see Craig on his lawn. Lawn. He's doing push-ups with his daughters on his back. Oh, goodbye, gotcha live. Thanks for coming back after vacation. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he sees me and waves happily, doing push-ups with one hand now. Holy crap. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Did you know that Victorians spent at least 20 hours a week gazing longingly out of full-length windows? Really? 20 hours a week? Mm -hmm. Almost a full day. Wait, really? No. <laughs> but Victorians did appreciate telling a good joke. Ah, <laughs> uh, he cute. Oh. You know, Topher, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought the more... Tawdry novels would encourage youth into life of crime and would cause too much of a, a distraction from work and school. I pull out a book at random and oh, examine yes. the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> 
Naruto struggled against the chains that Sasuke had bound him with. Shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pants. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> He's got Naruto smut fiction. In like an old leather bag. Yep. <laughs> God. Look at that shocked face. Like, mm. He's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damien snaps the book shut and puts it back onto the shelf. That's a rare book from my private collection. <laughs> yeah, now people are finally catching up. Yeah. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. This is when I was like, okay, I like Damien. Uh. He funny. <laughs> oh, no. I'm crying. <laughs> Please, will you join me for tea? Only if we gotta read more Naruto smut fic. Yeah. <laughs> I follow Damien to his sitting room, where finger foods have already been set about on a set of set out upon a beautiful tiered silver tray. I take a seat on one of the high backed chairs as Damien pours and serves me some tea. Good, good, good recovery, Damien. Mm -hmm. Good recovery. I can't believe we're having a high tea. I never thought I'd get to do this. <laughs> Damien smiles to himself. What? Oh. Uh, it's a common misconception that high tea refers to the... Okay, does he seem like an Aspie to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Just, like, completely mm -hmm. obsessed with one topic. Yep, yep. That's that's his focus, you know? I love it. <laughs> I, I, can, I can relate to that. Yes. <laughs> It's a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth or class of the people enjoying it, when in fact, the high refers to the to both the latter time of day that the working class had to enjoy tea and the height of the tables on which they were served. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, like just like an encyclopedia uh -huh. about like one thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dear friend, we are currently enjoying afternoon tea. Ah, it's not high tea. It's no. tea. That's informative. Damien takes a seat next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. Mmm. Your home is impressive. I think he might like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, he's plants. like, wee -hee! It seems like you've really put a lot of work into this place. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. I don't oh. think I've ever complimented my home before. I don't know how to. I don't know how to translate what is happening with that hand. I think it's like a like a. Vampire kind mm. of like swoosh the cape, but mm. like you know. I don't know. Is that that's kind of close? I don't know. Uh, you gotta like put your. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hell, I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers in my place, and look what you've done. I'm kind of jealous. I feel that. Oh, okay. Oh, someone is saying we should do like a play fall guy with the viewers. Weren't we talking about that? Uh huh. We should do that sometime. The thing is, I don't know how to get so many people in the same lobby. You might just have to be like uh Because it's like you have to invite by friend only, you know? Oh, okay. That's very generous of you to say. That's another reason we want to do Jackbox, because that's really easy to get a group together. All you need is a friend code. Not a friend code, even. It's a room code. Uh, you type in the four digits on your phone, and you're just in the game. Oh, that would be super fun. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. What got you so interested in goth stuff? <laughs> How Kitty delightful. Kitty Cat Diamond says, I would date this guy. Aww. I know he's got eye makeup on, too. Mm -hmm. He's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is He's so, for anime games, like, I like the long hair look, long hair anime yeah. boy look. Except Robert's the bad boy, so yeah. you know, I gotta go for Robert. But mm. he's a good, he's a pretty close second. I really like Damien. Mm. Well, when I was a young boy, my father. Did he take you into the city? <gasps> uh, Is it, my what? It's a uh, My Chemical Romance of Black Parade. Oh. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. I'm surprised Topher knows that. Huh. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see a marching band? <laughs> I don't understand. Aww. Yeah, that's emo, not goth. Yeah. I You're can't. serious? Hmm. Of course. But it's, you know, the song? Amanda made me listen to it. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'd love to see a marching yeah. band. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, uh, he's like, okay, awkward one. I'll, I'll help you out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Nevertheless. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have always had a love for art, history, and fashion. What started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals grew into sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives and cultures of those who came before us, I think. Why not go all the way? Hmm. 
I like not dying when I catch a cold. Mm. He takes a sip of tea. Hmm. I can acknowledge that there were many terrible things about the Victorian era and try to live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. Ah. But I think t it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be cognizant of its flaws and love it at the same time. Hmm. Tell me, Topher, do you have any hobbies? Oh man, I do, but I don't know if I care about anything the way you care about this stuff. Well, I'd love to hear about your interests. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and, quite honestly, rather attractive. I agree. I do, too. Yay. It's so fun to watch, so, to, especially you talking about music, how mm. excited you get. Yeah. Like, this is all the different parts of this guitar and why it affects it and stuff, and all I'm these like, microphones. I and... I. Mm, I love listening to you talk about pet care and training and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Love you. I love you. Makeup is the still not transferring. Yeah, you're still good. Perfect. I love this lipstick because it's, it's a matte. It's matte lipstick. It dries super fast, but it doesn't feel drying, and it's also non-transfer, so you can kiss your boyfriend, and it's just fine. Look. Kiss your boyfriend or your girlfriend, and, and it didn't transfer. Or your no one boy nary. No one boy nary. Please do tell me about your hobbies. Quick, sound sophisticated. Uh. Ooh. So. Making videos on the internet. Word, word jumbles. jumbles? Maybe word jumbles, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh. good. The uh, written word fascinates me. We spend so much time using words, you know, and uh, I think people would appreciate them more if they had to um, unjumble them. Mm -hmm. It's poetic, really. Oh, so you're a writer? Uh, <laughs> in a sense. We finish our tea and finger sandwiches. <laughs> Kitty Cat Diamond is... Absolutely uh, swooning over Damien. Aww. <laughs> you gotta play this game, though. That's so cute. Play this game and go for, like, his route 100%, you know? Yes. Ow. And yeah, you guys gotta vote on who we need to, like, continue mm -hmm. with. Come, I have one more thing to show you. Damien takes Aww. me around the back of his home, where a variety of flowers flourish in beautifully landscaped rows. A small stone path weaves through it, and butterflies flit lazily through the air. Ah. My garden. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Victorians took flowers and floor arrangements very seriously. Huh. You see, it was considered uncouth to discuss personal and romantic relationships in public, so lovers and friends alike would use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant is symbolic of different feelings. Huh. Mm. Even more interesting is that one flower could mean different things depending on the other plants it was paired with. One had to be extremely careful, as even the style in which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. And the fact that everyone has to know this too. Oh yeah, it's like it. Well, it's like when you watch like period, period dramas like Pride and Prejudice or Jane Austen stuff. Like they all know the dances. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows every single dance that goes with every single mm. music. Like you have to know these things. That's how you had to be trained for society. It's like you don't know math. But you know what dance <laughs> goes with what, and you know how to embroider. Mm. You can't <laughs> read and write, but you but can, you can dance. play piano. Da um. <laughs> Damien leans down and plucks a gorgeous bright orange flower off of a vine. Oh. Lilium bulbfrum, the orange lily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think this one means? My loins uh. are ablaze. Thou art the tightest. Three cheers for sweet revenge. Oh my God. Uh, Lillian, uh, oh my god, Eve, help! Eve says I'm such a language of flowers nerd. Uh, Eve, which one do we do? Help! <laughs> I think they're all silly. Oh no. You need to uh, save. Save, save, save. I care if we get this this right, because I do like Damien. I'm thinking my loins are ablaze. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> Look at his face! <laughs> Orange lily. Oh, no, no, so no. Go the, back. It's it was the, the revenge. revenge. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Eve, ah, hang on. We already did it wrong, uh, Eve. Yep. Jesus. Abby knew it. Oh, Abby, you knew. Yee. Yeah. Okay. Oh. The orange lily is actually symbolic of pure hatred. Well. Hmm. And that's precisely why floral arrangements is so challenging. What's your favorite type of flower? I like calla lilies, for real. Honeysuckle, ooh, we had honeysuckle at my house when I was a kid. Probably honeysuckle. Okay. What do you think? Let's do it. They smell really good, and you can suck them. 
Um, there you go. And then you can eat the tiniest yeah. little drop of nectar when you pull the stem out. <gasps> I'll have to remember that when I put together a bouquet for you. Mm. Uh. He, he would put together a bouquet for me? Nobody's ever given me a bouquet before. I follow Damien down the footpath and admire more of his beautiful flowers. Suddenly, a phone rings. Hmm. Oh, Tofu, will you excuse me? I must take this. He pulls the cell phone out of his pocket. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary phone. <laughs> Just pulls it out of his pocket. Big old rotary phone. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Damien smiles and walks back to the house. I take a deep breath and enjoy the heavily perfumed air. What a lovely yard. This makes me wish I had put a little more effort into that garden Amanda and I tried to start one time. Our watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. Oh, hey, a gargoyle. Oh, no, I knocked over the gargoyle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mini game. Fight. Fix that garg. Go, go, go. Uh, oh, no. That's the head. Yes. Put that back. There you go. Go good. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What? Is that like that? Ah! There you go. Can you flip that one upside down? Oh, yep. Perfect. Go! Yeah! S legendary! Oh, yeah. Nice work. Fix that garg! <laughs> Fix that garg! <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. Uh-oh, here comes Damien. He looks upset. Ah. Ah, he says. Ah. Topher, my sincerest apologies to have kept you waiting. There's an urgent matter that I must attend to, so I'm afraid I must take my leave. Okay, so we have to be quiet, because remember we missed, like, we have to be quiet at the end of the day, because remember we missed what Robert said at the end of the day, because, like, they say something. Oh, when, yeah, when we get our grade. When you get the rankings, we have to be quiet. Yes. Okay. No problem, dude. Everything all right? Damien worries the hem of his coat with his fingers and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine, but I, uh, Lucian. What's wrong? He appears to have, well, his teacher needs me to come to the school post haste. Do you need help? Oh no, you don't have to. Let me come with you. Us dads gotta stick together. Hmm. You're right. This is one of Lucian's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Aww. Let's go. I'm still hmm. quiet, apparently. Eh. Um, okay, so I kind of, it's fine, but I do appreciate the dads that don't have us go help them with something on their first date. Yeah. He was like, no, 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 I got this, and we wanted to come help him, mm -hmm. so that's a little bit nice. Okay. Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an anxious-looking Hugo. <sighs> hey, Damien, you're here in record time. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to the My Kids Are In Trouble rodeo. What is it this time? Oh. This, Damien, you have to see to believe. Damien and I fall into step behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room with the flight of rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Watch your step. I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement, and they don't sound happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. It's these two these punks. These two. We find another teacher in the boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucien and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucien has a bloody nose. Thanks for coming. Can't make heads or tails of this. <laughs> That's the teacher. <laughs> yeah. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. Huh. What happened here? You can do him too. Uh, Ernest punched me. <laughs> I don't know. Lucian tried to kill me. Uh, yeah, he's, he's the smoker. Smoke, yeah. Smoke ten <sighs> packs a day. The room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. You promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me. <laughs> oh, hell no. Someone said. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cask of Amontillado Ernest? I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I turned to Damien and whispered to him. What's 
Uh, what's cask of Amon- Amontillado? Hmm. Amontillado. It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with the promise of wine of a fine vintage, then buries him alive behind a brick wall. Nice. Eh, eh, eh. Itchy. It's a lovely story. <laughs> lovely story. <yes. laughs> so wait, Lucian, you tried to do that to him? I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually going to leave him down here. What was the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly built a tomb around him? Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he, he's an idiot, but then he realized that I had lied about the wine. Sorry, I have a schmooge on my glasses. And you were crackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. <laughs> you, Ernest? You sound just like Edna from Hairspray. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love him. Woof. Like, Woof. with that? Woof. Oh, Try to tip me off. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't. Ernest, 20 minutes? Dad. Sweet. It took you 20 go. minutes. Son, we just did an entire two week unit on the cast of Amontilla, blah, 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 and it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucien was leading you into an elaborate ruse. Did you even read the story? I read the first five pages and then read a review of the movie. Whoa. <laughs> it's only five pages long and there is no movie. <laughs> Ah, yeah, you're right. I paid Lucian to read it for me. Uh, actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. Damien and Hugo both have their head in, heads in their hands. You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature, and I did. I don't see a problem here. All right, I'm filing this under what the hell. <laughs> don't do whatever that was again. You two are both suspended for a week. <laughs> Ernest and Lucian high five. <laughs> They're like, yes. The teacher starts to stomp up the stairs. You go, I'll cover your class. Take your son home. Mr. Blood March, you too. Thank you for your meditation. Mediation. Mediation. <laughs> At first, I was going to say medication, and then I said meditation. My gosh. Mediation. We all head up the stairs and and out of the school in tense silence. Lucy and Damon and I all pile into my car and begin the drive home. Lucy immediately puts his hood up and stares out the window angrily. I'm not going to therapy again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. Oh, no. But I care about you, and I can see that you're struggling. So if you do decide that you'd like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that, too. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping is cool. I'm impressed. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. Hmm. Aw. I love you, son. Hmm. Lucy continues staring out of the window. <laughs> We're all like, I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> we spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. Ew, he nice. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. <gasps> Goodbye, sweet cherry. Boy. 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 Thanks for showing up. Aw, Eve likes doing this. Aww. Sweet cherry. <laughs> I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He, have a, he and I have a lot we need to work out. It's all right, and all things considered, Lucien's bricklaying was pretty good. So there's your silver silver lining. There is that, yes. Uh, I really admired him. Yeah, that, that definitely Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You were a lot more diplomatic with him than I would have been. I just want what's best for him. I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. It rarely does. You're a good dad. Aww, ah! eggplant. See you around soon. Huh. Be my honor and my pleasure. Damien bows with a flourish. Classy. <laughs> Wait, shh. We have to, oh, we're not, not, not done yet. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. Y'all. What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. I, I feel like that's actually a show, though. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate this show. You know what they ought to watch instead? Glow up. Yes, we've been watching Glow Up on Netflix. It's, it's fantastic. We're all good. Ding dong! 
Dang dong. Okay. The couple on screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. The tiny house hunting brothers watch them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching the low ceiling. I'll be the wife, you be the husband. Yes. <laughs> I want to do the Monty Python thing. Okay. I told you I wanted a two-bed, <laughs> two-bath, shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. But honey, the outside is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. The outhouse? The outhouse. I am not pooping outside, Greg. <laughs> Why don't they just get a regular sized house? I, I don't know. Hmm. Hot afternoon, take out. Got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucian since he tried to. She knew that it was afternoon tea and not high tea. See, she did. Mm -hmm. He lured Ernest down to the cellar with a promise of a fine vintage and then tried to break him into the wall, right? Tiny House Hunters is a real thing, Diamond. It is a real thing. It's just not Tiny House Hunters Brothers Extreme Edition, blah, blah, blah. Yep. That's like a mixture of three different house shows. But mm. Tiny House Hunters is a thing, and I did watch like a whole two seasons of it. It's pretty fascinating. MD Animations, you're correct. Grace does look amazing. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Also, hi, mm. MD Animations. Thank you for coming again. I remember you. Mm. Meow. The living room is a mess, uh, at Millie's World. They did just move. Like, this is them meeting their neighbors in the mm -hmm. new called the sec. They just moved. And uh, if you, any of you have ever moved before, you know it takes a little bit of time to get oh, things yeah. back into order. Sometimes years. It's fine. I was thinking about how long it took me to get this studio set up. Only like a week, though. Mm -hmm. You were. Pretty That's, quick. I was at home full time though, so. Yeah, you're like, oh, I have a week before I go to work. Yeah, I got nothing to do. <laughs> okay. How do you know that? Has everyone read the story except for me? Lucy and live stream the entire thing. <laughs> this entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy's a character, but he's really good company and it's a surprisingly diplomatic dad. <laughs> I dig his style. You know what? Ah. Me too. Okay, wait, we have to wait. be quiet now. Yes. Listen. I'm turning it up. Date complete. My dear friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. Um, t taken the egg is a, uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a Victorian phrase. It technically means winning, so, um, you've, Ultimately, you've you've won. Nice. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Ultimately, you, you've won. You, you, you did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was really cute. Yeah, I need to use a bathroom. Keep it by. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just quick continue. Ah. <sighs> All right, Trevi, let's go. Oh, you tired still? Okay. S rank, so we did the best Welcome. ever. You Can't sniff best. the microphone, Trevor. Oh, we got a message from Craig. Ah, Trevi. Okay, let's read the message from Craig real quick. Mm. Holly Stokes, um, we just you're back. Okay, so you we just finished the um date with Damien and we did really well and he's really cute. So let's uh continue. Craig sent us a message. Hey, buddy, I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner, and I know it's kind of faux pas to invite another bro, but I've known the guy for years, and I still can't get a read on him, and I know it's going to be super awkward if I go by myself. Please come by. I love food. <laughs> Same. Especially love food that's free. I don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. Really hope that's a sweat of relief. Eat that dinner. <laughs> Eat that dinner. Craig didn't want to go to a dinner with Robert alone. Mm -hmm. You want to continue while I hold the boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just don't. Stay with him with your hands. Uh, yes. We I... do have a toy down there. Uh huh. I got it. Okay. Uh, that doesn't sound too bad. I could definitely go for free food, but why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? I hurry up and reply before my dad brain can work itself into a paranoia spiral. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you! Okay, Craig and I decide to meet up. Craig's waiting on my porch, bottle of white wine in hand. Bro. White Zinfandel, hopefully. Mm, I'm more of a 
Moscato guy. No, I know, but Robert likes white Zen, remember? Oh, yeah. Um, Topher, boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, sorry. Likewise, man. Classy of you to bring wine. Oh. Oh, it's not wine. It's sparkling apple cider. Robert literally has a wine cellar, so I think it's <laughs> good. Good for Robert. Wow. Or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm genuinely unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can never tell with him. Also, every Sue, I'm doing good. Uh, we're having a good time playing this game. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This boy is so comfy. He's so cute. I was just thinking though, that one date took us an hour. We gotta speed through these if we're gonna we get do, through We do. We do have them. to speed through, and also these mini dates. So we're, okay, we're gonna keep going. Yes. Oh. Thank God it's not just me. I never know. Hmm. He's so deadpan about everything. I usually just laugh it off, but man, that guy's an enigma. Look at his face. Yeah, he's like, Ugh. Oh my. Um, we start walking over to Robert's house. Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere doubts about whether or not he knows how to shave properly or iron his shirts. I feel like you need to learn to cook after you. I feel like you learn to cook after you learn those two. I haven't ironed a shirt in years. Yeah, do one people time iron? Him, one time I saw him grab a hot dog from a trash can. Uh -huh. I mean, it was at the very top of the trash can, like sitting above it, but still. If we were on trial, I think the jury would define that as in the trash. In his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing food from the top of the trash before. Hmm. You want to hear something? Yes. I haven't grabbed food from the top of the trash before, but I was at a Taco Bell and they were doing a whole like giveaway thing with Xbox stuff where you buy a Chalupa box or whatever and there's a code on the box. I saw an old couple throw their box away without using the code, so I may have taken the box and used the code to enter. It didn't win, but you know, I, I took the box, not the food. I think that's thrifty. <laughs> I don't think that's bad. Okay. Yeah. That's well, just dump that's just dumpster diving. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it. True. Maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're all holding ourselves back. I like how he's the devil's advocate. Yeah. We are, oh, uh, go for we it. arrive at Robert's house and ring the doorbell, but the doorbell won't chime. Hmm, must be broken. Craig knocks on the door a few times. Since when does Robert have a dog? Mm, I don't know. That's weird. I can hear Robert just inside. One second! <laughs> it's not his voice, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> This is uncharted territory, <laughs> What if he's the one making barking noises and there is no dog? Don't say that. We're not even inside yet. Mm -hmm. Finally, the door opens. Robert looks a little surprised to see me. Oh. Topher, didn't know you'd be tagging along. Maybe the one second is his real voice. Yeah. And this is him. One second. I mean, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Christian Bale Batman. Yeah. I don't know. Craig, not tell Robert I was coming? Come I on, know. Craig. I don't, know. I don't know. Do you want to be Topher? I can leave if there's not. Yeah, I'll be Topher. Emmett, you're going to help your dad build a shelf? That's really nice of you. Nice. Oh. No, it's fine. Come on in. We enter Robert's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, but really nice. Look at all those booze uh, bottles. I like that he's got the record players. I like his little succulents. Aww. Like there. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, someone's getting. Awake. Make yourselves at home. You can still hear barking from the other room. I didn't know you have a dog, Robert. Oh yeah, that's Betsy. I have to put her up when guests are over. She'll calm down in a bit. Oh. Feel that. What kind of dog is she? Pitbull. Rescued her from a dog fighting ring a few years back. She hates strangers. If I let her out right now, I'd probably have to take you both to, to the ER. I remember what kind of dog it is. It's not a pitbull. No. <laughs> a nice. <laughs> Is it, okay, let's see. Craig and I make eye contact. He raises an eyebrow at me. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Anyways, dinner should be ready in a minute. Hope you guys like uh, also buco. What? I have no idea what that is. Um, Not that pit bulls are bad, though. Pit bulls are totally fine. It's just, you know, they're like the mean dog, you know. Mm -hmm. Robert leaves the room, presumably to go to the kitchen. Craig leans in and whispers. Was the dog fighting thing real or was he kidding? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> What's Asabuka? I don't know. <laughs> Did he make up that word? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Until I have Asabuka in front of me, we can only assume so. Uh, we sit in silence for a second, taking in Robert's living room. Are we about to get sawed? Hmm. Nah, usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walked into this one. 
Robert finally walks into the room carrying three paper plates of steaming food like a waiter. I don't have a dining table. Don't trust him. So we're eating here. <laughs> I don't trust dining tables. <laughs> also, I don't have real paper plates. Hope that's okay. Robert oh, no. sets plates in front of us on the coffee table. I still can't tell what it is. Looks like meat, maybe. Lots of sauce. Can make out some vegetables. I think that might be rice, but it could also be pasta. I guess there's only one way to find out. I take a bite. Nice. Oh my God. I take another bite. The medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender and the risotto, I think that's what it is, is so creamy. Mm. Robert, this is really incredible. You cooked this? Mm. I fished it out of a dumpster behind a restaurant. <laughs> or at least I think it was a restaurant. Hey. Can you believe people just throw this stuff away? I almost can't. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost can't. Uh, I... I'm kidding. I look over at Craig, who's, who looks wary, but still has his mouth full. Gives Robert a thumbs up. He's just over there like... Yeah. <laughs> Glad you like it. Mm. Where did you learn how to cook like this? Huh. Worked at a restaurant in Spain for a hot sec. Is he messing with us? I decided to play along. Eve says anything could be under there. Yes. Wait, I don't trust dining tables either, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> anything could be under there. <laughs> you lived in yes. Spain? After I dropped out of college, I went backpacking through Europe, crashing on couches, sleeping in hotels, wherever, totally broke. Worked a couple odd jobs where I could scrape together some cash. Hey. One night I'm eating dinner at this little restaurant just outside of Madrid. I go pay inside and realize I spent the last of my money on booze the night before. I, I believe that. Mm. I'm in the middle of ditching when the manager catches me and puts me to work in the kitchen. I don't know. Long story short, they ended up liking me so much they offered me a job. Why not, right? Started living with some distant relatives on my mom's side. Hey. Over the course of two years, I worked my way up from busboy to sous chef. Learned a lot. Craig and I wait for the punchline. <laughs> what a night! What night watchman did he swindle to get back into the states? Who did he con in a game of poker in the back of a back room of a speakeasy for safe passage in the crew quarters of a cargo ship? Uh... Anyway, I still have to cook. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore, but this food's so good, I kind of don't care. That's amazing. Huh? It really is. To be totally honest, I wasn't exactly expecting gourmet cooking here, especially not served on paper plates. I don't care about presentation. If the food is good, it should speak for itself. The sauce buco is screaming for itself. Mm. Paper plates is just good, are just as good as regular plates if you double them up. Mm -hmm. That is true. Hmm. Hey. Is it bad if I ask for seconds? Help yourself. Save room for dessert. I made eleven berries. So Severin, Severin, Severin. I, again, I don't know what that is. Robert, it's too classy for yeah, me. Yeah, what the heck? Oh. Well, aren't you just full of? Yes. Yeah, Craig looks over at me. Hey. Surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Robert winks. Oh, he's actually winking. Ah, look at him. You bet I am. Oh. You can come over for dinner anytime. Hey. Craig. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go get seconds. Me too. <laughs> After consuming way more asabuco than my body could handle and then really ensuring a later food coma, <laughs> and then really ensuring a later food coma with a generous serving of whatever Severin is, Craig and I decide to head oh. out. Thanks for coming. I'm making an attempt to be more social. Aww. Look at him side eye. Yeah. He's sweating. Well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Especially if there's Asabuco involved. Ow, that was nice. Yeah. Okay, we have two more dates to get through. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Uh, who next? Brian or Joseph? Uh, Robert, no. Oh, that's Robert. Um, okay. Brian or Joseph next. Well, we're gonna do them both anyway. Hey, let's see if we have any, uh, let's see, let's see, you guys let us know, Brian or Joseph, and I'm going to go get some water. Yes. Agua. It's that Robert voice. It is. It yeah. Is. Oh my gosh. Guys, do you see what I have in my arms? I have a precious baby boy who I love very much. Oh, buddy, I love him. Hello, baby boy. Baby, 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 man, baby boy. Oh, boy. Cute boy. Are we getting any votes? 
Uh, not yet. They're talking about dabbing. Guys, okay, we got one vote, two votes for Brian. Good enough. We're going for Brian. You guys are paying attention. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just talking about dabbing. I'm glad you're having a good time. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian more, but it seems like Daisy and Amanda get along really well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake of the kids. I crack my knuckles and start typing. <laughs> no one likes Joseph. <laughs> Aww. Poor Joseph. He's too vanilla. Mm -hmm. Too vanilla? Uh, <laughs> like he's, he's not weird enough, I guess, but maybe we'll find out more in his storyline. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's the biggest freak of them all, you know? I don't know. This is what happens with them them sheltered kids. Anyway, sips tea. <laughs> I wait a couple minutes until a ding comes from my computer and a message pops up on screen. It's Brian! Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Trevor. Careful. Yeah. Uh, love a good Berg with a buddy. A Berg? Who calls him Berg? He signed his name. That's cute. Rock on, Brian. Friendly competition? This is perfect. Well, because he said he didn't read the whole thing. What do you think yeah, about... Yeah, uh, mini think? golf. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition. Okay, mm. he likes competing. I've been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid, and I'm proud to say that she's almost better at it than I am. Almost. I type back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and the place, and we'll be there. Yeah, pretty much everyone put Brian, so that's cool. We picked the right one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Amanda. Ah. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? <laughs> I'm a little out of practice, and I know I'm a backswing leave something to be desired, but I think I could keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. Yeah. Mini golf, mini game. Here we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Hey. Arr, matey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Why are you talking like that? Huh? Because this mini golf course is pirate themed. I just now realized that we are indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of the putt-putt course. Oh. Come on, pirate dad. Want to talk like a pirate with me? Arr, ahoy. Um, scurvy? <laughs> Avasti, I don't see pirates. Only angles. There's no time for that. Avasti, we yeah. want to be fun. I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, the balloon. Hmm. Come on, Dad. You told me this was just going to be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is Dad code for actual competition. I need to prepare my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian in the field of glorious battle. A Dad code for actual competition. Mm. <laughs> it's just mini golf. Just mini golf? So much more than that. <laughs> I kneel down and place a hand on Amanda's shoulder. <laughs> what is the dabbing? <gasps> Oh, mm. well. I'm happy, you guys. Um, mm -hmm. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it too much. But we have to breed Brian Mini Golf. That's true. Whatever happened to just having fun? Oh, we will have fun. Also, opinion on dabs. I have literally no opinion on it. Like, none. Like, I have no opinion. Cool. Yep. What about you? I, I dab when I sneeze sometimes. Just as a joke. Oh, yeah. okay. So you have a good opinion of it? Like, you're like, I mean, it's cool? Okay, people like them. Yeah. All Is right. there a, not a bite mark on this? Oh, no, that was from the plastic wrapping. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. When we beat them. Mm -hmm. Amanda gives me a side eye, but before I can side eye her back, I spot Brian and Daisy. Hey. Hi there, mateys. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they've already rented us some golf clubs for our mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> All right, first mate. I hear there's buried treasure in these waters. You're going to help me plunder it? Oh, Amanda. I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just a play putt-putt on. <gasps> Amanda gives Daisy a look. Huh. I mean, aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Daisy winks at Amanda. <laughs> hey, look at those two. A two peas in a pod. So, you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. You're a ga you're a gambling man. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it was gonna turn into like uh, you, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a, like yeah, a threat. Like you, <laughs> you're you, a gambling man. You want to fucking go? Yeah. 
I know when to hold him. Depends on what's on the table. Do I get you if I win? Ooh, that might be a little much. Yeah, I know when to hold him. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Eggplants! Woo! Right. Good work. I know when to... That's you. I know when to hold him. Oh, uh, happy birthday to M&D um, uh, Animations friend. Yay! Good. Best friend. Uh, I know when to... Uh, sh Shoot, that's pretty much all I know how to do. <laughs> how about the loser buys drinks tonight? All right. But how about we make it a bit more interesting? I'm listening. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn this weekend. Mmm, now we're getting in real suburban gang real territory. Dad yeah. territory. <laughs> well, my yard's pretty big. Are you sh prepared to take that out? Oh, that's sensual, Brian. <laughs> I got a big lawn. Oh, <laughs> big. Lawn. Yes. Energy. Lots of thick grass. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> anyway. I think you should be a little more concerned with how you're going to maneuver my hedges. Highly technical work. Not for the faint of heart. Mm. I don't think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh, yeah? Hole in one. Every time. <laughs> what I just said is not a true thing, but I already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. But it already came out. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Brian and I eye each other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. Like, handshake gets tighter by the second, you know? Yeah. It's about to go down. Veins popping. Done, you son of a bitch. You know? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it's this kind of game? What, I, what am I doing? Do I have to space, space bar? bar? Right click? What? what? I'm so confused. What are the controls? Ah! Maybe, yeah, maybe you hold it down and let go? That, no. What the? I don't, how do you play this? Oh, I have to click the ball. Oh, come oh my back. gosh. Uh Whoa! And why is this so strong? <laughs> I don't know how to do this! Why? Why wasn't there like oh shit. Why wasn't there like Okay, you can't hold it either. There was I don't... there were no like instructions. Oh, there's also a, there's also a little, um, nice. There was also, see the little red yeah. bar? Yeah, I don't know how to, like, turn it down. I think you just have to, like, oh, hold, hold it on the ball. I down. tried that, it shot immediately. No, but if you hover, hover off the ball, hover on the ball, there it goes. I don't know. We're going to lose this it's so fine. badly. It's fine. It's fine. They're calling you a noob. There's no tutorial. <laughs> I got an achievement. I got oh, an A getting they're there. They're like, we know this it's probably is a not rough good enough. game. It's probably not good enough. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the next hole. Mm -hmm. Hey. You having a good time? Yes, it's great. I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time trying to destroy Brian underfoot. That's fine. <laughs> I just ask because your eye is twitching. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrows. Huh? We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right. It's just a game. Well, it's, uh, this is frustrating for me. I don't know why, but <laughs> he did. <laughs> game with extremely high stakes that we are currently losing. <sighs> Dad! Please, Amanda, please nail this next hole for me. I need your help now more than ever. Hmm. If it's really that important to you, sure. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she winds up and launches the ball into the parking lot. She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug. Huh? Oh. <laughs> 
Ah! <laughs> uh! I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. <laughs> that was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. Aww. More! Uh. Okay, we gotta get the curve. Nice. All right. Where's the hole? There's a hole. Oh! Nope. That's a miss. One. That's okay. You've lost your ball. You've lost, lost your, your ball. ball. Okay. Bam. Oh. Sorry. Now. Aww. So close. Dead men seek no pass. Cool. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Nope. Oh. Oh! Oh, shit! Hey! Woo! All right. Oh, we got jumps. We got mad jumps. So maybe just... Oh, I, yeah, oh. I have I have no idea the, the jumps were... Maybe mm. would have had to wait till it got pretty low. On oh, the octopus. yeah. Oh. Aww. What? <laughs> How the heck are you supposed to get this? Through the middle, right there, hey. maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Every golf course has every mini golf course has one of these. Uh huh. Shit. Yep. Mm. That was mm. hard. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A getting there. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're still losing though. Getting an A means we're losing. Yeah, that's weird. I try to maintain an air of professionalism because there are children present, but I can feel the crushing weight of the four dads before me, casting a disappointed look upon my broken frame. I have failed you, fathers, and for that I am sorry. Oh, pity. Hey. Uh -huh. Man, that was some good shooting there, Telfer. I've lost at putt putt. I have lost, lost at putt putt. Mini golf is beneath me. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's like that's yeah. like honorable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, eggplants. I'll remember this day, Brian. And someday, when I finally defeat you, you'll think of this moment, too. The moment I decided your fate. The moment I decided that you must be destroyed. The mo- I don't get how the game was supposed to work. <laughs> you did Jeez. fine, baby. Uh -huh. Brian and I eyeball each other. You Electricity might, you, shooting between us. You might us. be, like, supposed to lose. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. Arr, Daisy. Did you have a good time? Yo ho ho, I did. <laughs> we haven't even found the buried treasure yet. <gasps> Bedtime books, this is your first stream. Woo! Welcome! Welcome! Yay! I think I would need to apply for a permit to dig around here. Mm -hmm. I can take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two go enjoy your night. Ooh. Sounds Ooh. like a plan, Dover. You cool with that? Sure. Just don't get yourselves into too much trouble. <laughs> Can do. I'll make sure we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. Amanda and Daisy skip away yelling about buried treasure. Bless that tiny, that kid's tiny rebellious heart. Bless that tiny kid. <laughs> Bless that tiny, small, oh. small kid. Little baby kid. Little baby kid. Well, I guess we should hit the bar now. <laughs> There's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. How about that? I love a tiki bar. That sounds like a plan. We were at a tiki bar. We were. That was cute. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which I'm not just about considering I just completely blew it on the putt-putt course. Okay, Dad, you can do this. Just gotta drown my sorrows in some tropical loser drink and get out of here. Brian and I walk into the Freaky Tiki. A uh, kitschy, kitschy, I don't know, island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls, and fake several parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. Two pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips up two rum drinks outside of hollowed out pineapples. No. Aww. He, he sets them on fire and we have to blow them out before Perfect. we can drink them. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. <laughs> if you don't want yours, I'll take it. And best me again? I think not. Mm. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. Sorrow tastes fruity. Mm. My lawn care needs are very particular. I hope you're up for the challenge. Oh, don't worry. I'll bring my own salt to promote healthy growth in a sustainable environment. Oh, oh come on now, Topher. I'm just having a little fun with you. 
he's also like the humble winner. It's like, yeah, I'm just messing with you. It's I know, like, but like, mm. I feel like, I feel like Topher is making this way more competitive yeah. than it is. Like, I feel like Brian's like, come on, let's have some fun. And he's like, <gasps> like, I can't win a single thing. I know. I grumble and sip more of my fruity sorrow drink. Fine, fine. You got me on this one. While I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Moco Makeover Deck Edition is on. <laughs> I love this show. Always made me want to own a deck, TM. Ugh, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three-week job minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? Can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers? I have terrible news for you, <laughs> Topher. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not them too. <laughs> that's the awful truth. Uh -huh. Not everyone, the ghost. Everyone is saying I'm a queen. That's Aww, nice. you are a queen. Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. Trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. I've been lied to for so long. We both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Sure am. I actually helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. Wow, nice work. Oh. Yeah, kind of took after the footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor, too? The best. You practically built half this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying to not become your father, then you wake up one day and BAM! There you are! But I get to work with my hands and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream job. For me, at least. Hmm, well that's impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and I've been okay with that. Until now. Now I must defeat him. I do have that patio oh, furniture that I haven't put together no, still sitting in the garage. stop it, Topher! Ugh. Okay, okay. Maybe I should cool it with the dad competition. Yeah, come on. Gotta keep it light. Tell one of your classic jokes. Ask about his daughter. Stare him down, unblinking. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Uh. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. <laughs> it's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is really hard. I can barely make good words when I have the whole alphabet in front of me, let alone seven letters. Brian laughs. <laughs> That's a hearty See? laugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a belly laugh. Yeah, it is. See? We can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. I can do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. <laughs> That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep it moving. Compliment his beard. Sure. Ask about his dog. Do they have a dog? Yeah, they have a that corgi. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, I think he would like that. Yeah. Makes sense. So you have a dog? <laughs> sure do. Hmm. I can't quite remember what he looks like. Oh, he's a little corgi. Always has a handkerchief around his neck. Yeah. I'm not getting it. <laughs> I think I might need a visual reminder to jog my memory. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog maybe on your phone brian laughs dover see them dog pics yeah dover if you wanted to see pictures of maxwell you could have just asked show me the goods then yeah <laughs> brian pulls out his phone and flips through an entire album of dog pictures it's me it is <laughs> oh yeah that's the stuff what a good boy. What a good boy. Look at this boy. No, His he head is upside down. I know. Okay, crack him's head off. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, what he do? I look around the room and take in all the kitsy de... Kishi? Kishi decor. Know. Looking for something. I think he means like, you know, tacky. Yeah. Just say tacky. Mm -hmm. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brian and I. I gesture to it. Yes, this is Trevor. For anyone who's just joining, he's taking a nap, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> Very, he likes to sleep in weird, uncomfortable positions <laughs> when I'm holding him. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely fake. What, really? Uh. Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over, over there is just a ficus with plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. Oh. But I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger, though. Of, of course. course it was. Ah! <laughs> of course it was. 
Oh, really? Yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out on the sea for three days, catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh man, that's some of the best food I've ever had. Yes, that actually sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it was the last day, everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out too, then all of a sudden it just starts running. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for maybe an hour. Can't call out to my shipmates. It's just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him up to the surface and finally get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway-esque. I get it onto the boat single-handedly. And you know what happens next? Hold on. So now it's Queen Chris and King Grey. Sick. Yeah. I'm in. Yas Queen Slay. I love you, my queen. I love you, my queen. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck gender norms. <laughs> um also, yeah, so Chris doesn't usually play a lot of Minecraft on his channel just because he plays Minecraft like every day for F Mile recordings. Mm -hmm. But I think you said you probably will do some yeah, in the future. I, uh, I definitely have plans to in the future. Uh, like right now, I'm just doing the weekly streams, but uh, hopefully we'll have time to do videos more in the future. Yeah, so it's not completely out, but as far as right now, not real, not really doing Minecraft on your channel now. But that doesn't mean he won't ever do it again. Mm hmm. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, what happens next? Oh, the damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail. Knocks me out. I wake up the next morning on the deck. The fish gone. Never felt dumber. So it got away? I think there's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish kept in Ahab style. Do you all know who Captain Ahab is? If you don't, your school is failing you. Mm. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Ah, uh -huh. oh, man. Fishing's the life. I haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him that I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. Oh, no. They're all braggy. No! Topher, you... I actually... I forgot about this, but he... Topher's so annoying in this route. Is he? You're like, Brian's trying to be nice, you dick. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I'm amazing at fishing. I'm the best at fishing, or no one can outfish me. No one can outfish me. Might as well just go yeah. for it. All right. I'm simply the best out there. Yeah. Okay. Since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> Wait. Don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers. We can just sit back, relax, and reel in some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. I sigh. I've been cornered. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. Uh -huh. Yes! Maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try to beat me, but they don't call me toe for good at catching fish, Grace, for nothing. I am spinning a web of lies that I fear will one day consume me. It will, ah. idiot. Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. Oh, also, Trevor is almost, almost 12 weeks old. So he's, he's about two months old, two and a half months old then, I guess, almost three months old. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start saying months now because eventually the weeks yeah, just get confusing. Yeah, he, he's he's almost three. Almost three, three months, months old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how old he is. He's just a baby. What do we What do we like more? This is a great opportunity for friendship, or I'm real excited. Opportunity. Eggplants, and yeah. also for catching more fish than Brian. You're grilling me with these puns, Topher. <laughs> Mull it over. You You'll come around with the fish-related dad jokes in no time. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that competitive fire in his eyes. This is going to become a whole thing, isn't it? Oh. Uh, also, welcome, Rory. Nice to see you. Hello. Good to meet you. Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately pops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? It was okay. Oh, yeah. He seems like a neat dude. 
I think so? I don't know. The guy loves a good competition. Then again, apparently so do I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, uh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit. So we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed, then sat around eating Brian's food. Oh. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. It mm -hmm. is! It is! I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Topher good at catching fish, Grace. <laughs> Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. Huh. I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, she said. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just doing fish puns now. <laughs> You've hooked me. Uh, I told him I was an amazing fisherman. Mm -hmm. Dad, you hate fishing. I know. I'm kind of panicking. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat on a lake for hours on end with no promise of a tangible reward. Your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. Huh. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as the fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as the world darkens around you and you wonder if it's really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with us. Oh. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> it is my constitutional right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming too. Well, uh, hmm. I bet I can convince Brian to bring his dog. Ah. Fine, sold, I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gonna call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, Pops. Oh, we gotta get the, the line. <laughs> you sure know how to make a dad blush. <laughs> Aww. Aww, that's cute. Mm. Oh my god, guys, we're doing puns now? Oh that was good. That was really good, Atlantic Wolf. I like that. Do we have time for an activity and a date? Let's just do the date first and see if the activity is still there. Okay, Joseph. Yeah, let's do Joseph date and we'll do the activity later if please, we have time. Please don't pirate games. Dad tip number 80. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, <sighs> also, it is okay if you're late. That's mm -hmm. fine. We have been going for about an hour and 40 minutes now, um, but you can w catch up if you want. It'll be on YouTube later, so you can definitely watch Yay. the stream. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk a little softer from now on, so I'm moving the mic closer. Okay. His family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, how do I hang out with the priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? He is so not Jesus-y. Jesus, Jeez, no. Which I, is nice. I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesus-y. A little smattering of Jesus. <laughs> Will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do I have to pray at him? Talking to Joseph, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it every time you do, Pops. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. But I've never been friends with a priest before. I don't think he's a priest. He's a youth pastor. Mm -hmm. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible passages, ice cream socials, khakis. I've gone to a lot of church ice cream socials. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. First of all, he's youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. <laughs> Kitty cat diamonds like Damien though. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a difference? Ugh. You're overthinking it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. <sighs> Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Too like business casual. Mm. Fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Ah. Amanda focuses on the keys. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you and your family. Still new around here, so if you'd like, I'd love to hang mm. out and get to know you. See ya. Smile face. Mm. Smile face. Yeah. <laughs> smile, smile face. Smile face. 
Mm. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What do you say? Hi, Topher. If you're not doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'll be a blast, so let me know. Oh, that wasn't so bad. He uses a lot of exclamation points. So do I. I yeah. need people to know that I'm not, like, angry or sarcastic. Me too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about him signing his name with a tilde. I'm willing to let it slide this time. Eh? I totally do that. The tilde? Yeah. I think the tilde's cute. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. I respond back. Sounds like fun. Totally. <laughs> well. <laughs> Guess I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, no, you've become a tildeite. <laughs> Save a brownie for me. Oh, I want brownie. Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Huh. Amanda stares at me, unblinking. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real to a fault, pop, Pops. <laughs> Ugh. And Dad, please don't be worried about the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. Oh, oh, never. No. I'm not dating anyone religious, Kitty Cat Diamond says. <laughs> you know, do you do you, Kitty Cat mm -hmm. Diamond. Uh, make the short walk over Joseph's place. Don't be weird, Topher. Oh, that's right. He likes boating, so he's yeah. got the anchor. But what if they hang up a bunch of crosses or collect those little porcelain babies? What if they're all praying? Do they pray before dinner? During dinner? Over their porcelain babies? Oh, the door begins to creak open, a shadowy figure obscured on the other side. Who's there? What if it's Joseph? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Topher? Yeah, there you go. The door opens the rest of the way. It's Joseph's eldest. What's his name? Hey. Hey, um... It's Christian. Uh-oh. It's Chris. Chris. Chris, right. Hi again. It's... I'm Topher. I know what your name is. Oh, so, yeah. It is. We met at the barbecue. How's the, uh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, no. Okay. Chris blinks slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. You're weird. <laughs> yes, he is. It's your dad. Yep, before I finish, Chris walks into the adjacent room, leaving me in front of an open doorway. Home. This was a great first impression. For a moment, I wonder if I should just go in, further subjecting Joseph's family to my winning attitude and artful charisma. Mercifully, Joseph... Joseph, he peeks. Okay, <laughs> his head around the corner. <laughs> Dolfer, you made it! Joseph approaches with his arms wide. I'm so glad you could come by. Are you ready to bake? I am I, not. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, that's a truthful answer, yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of semi-confidence I like to see in a baking <laughs> assistant. <laughs> semi-confidence. Come on in. <laughs> Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious home full of nautical knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty charming. Look at the little <laughs> canoe shelf. Oh, he really likes boating. Yep. Well, maybe that... Did he say he was in the Navy or something before? I don't think so. I think he just likes. I don't remember. Maybe. Hmm. Uh. I believe you've met Chris, who left you outside. <laughs> Forgot my name. <laughs> Chris? Mm. Oh. Are you going to apologize? <laughs> what the shell? That pun was terrible. <gasps> oh my oh, god, gosh. they're still going. It's a shell of a town. Anyway. All right, sorry. I try to make eye contact with Chris, but he keeps looking away. He must be really shy. It's all right. Next time, just be a little more inviting to our guests, okay? Sure. Chris seems to relish the chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes, vanishes into his room. Joseph turns to me apologetically. Ooh, Millie's world thinks Joseph is cute. Aww. Don't take it personally. Chris just likes to keep to himself. I mean, we didn't start off on the best foot in the world. Plus, being the eldest in a big family can't be easy. Oh. We try to cut him a little slack where he can't, where we can. Ah, and here are the twins, Christian, Christy. Say hello to Topher. Hello, hello father. father. Hello, hello Topher. Hmm. Nailed it. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Kids, come on, <laughs> dial it back on the creepy twin shtick. Creepy twin shtick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you two say, come play with us, Danny? Oh, oh no. The twins stare up in unblinking unison. 
Come, Come play, play with, with us, Danny. Danny. Oh, uh, he thinks it's a little funny. <laughs> Joseph covers his mouth and looks away, but he's clearly holding back a big laugh. This is it. This is my dad World Series. Okay, now say, please help us, Mothra. Please help us, Mothra. No, I can't take it. <laughs> Joseph is trying his best not to break in front of his kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look eager to bust their dad. But can we keep it up? Oh, no, Gwen got in. Uh-oh. Verbi being good, kitten. I swear, if you start chewing any more cables. Uh-oh, we'll keep an eye. Mm -hmm. Obscure. Creepy is sort yeah. of their shtick. Now say, they all float down here. Hmm. They, they all float, float down, down here, here father. father. <laughs> Joseph can't take it anymore, despite his quiet protestations. He's laughing pretty hard into his hand, and the kids giggle with him. <laughs> Everyone's Yay. like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the twins, obviously pleased with a new arsenal of spooky weapons, leave the room to terrorize the rest of the community. My work here is done. Yes. I'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks. Next time we hang out, I'll try to teach them some lines from the thing. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've got a bit of a troublemaker on our hands. You think you can out-trouble a career pro? I don't know about... Oh, I'm suddenly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen. What now? Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Christy? No one responds. Joseph furrows his brow and motions for me to stay where I am. Uh, wait here a minute. Joseph rushes into the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. Half of fatherhood is trying to keep your kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves. And he's got four. Talk about worry. I take a seat on his surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. Bookshelf. Oh, no, I okay. want to see. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks handmade. Did Joseph build this? There's a big stack of what looks like travel magazines. Hyenas of the Serengeti, the underwater mysteries of the Antarctic, and on and on. Seems like Joseph really loves a good adventure, unless this is a merry thing. Who knows? Next to them are a couple of different Bibles. Looks like he's covering all the Bible bases. King James, New American Standard, the Bible 14s. <laughs> he is a cool youth minister, after all. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these must be Mary's. The newest one looks like... <laughs> Hot Body Johnson, Sex Detective. <laughs> the eighth installment in. Wait, this is a series? You want me to do this one? Huh? You want me to read for this one? Uh, sure. There's a couple cool knickknacks on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. Hey, another cross. This looks like, this one looks a little different. And a third cross. Unified design aesthetic. Smart choices. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like something a sailor would use to navigate with. I think they're called sextants? Eh, <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have this many kids around and they're bound to end up on the... Oh, kids and things are bound to end up on the floor, no matter how hard you try to keep it clean. I spot a terrifying cloth doll that appears to have had both arms pulled off several times. It's been stitched together a lot. Oh, no. The tag says C plus C, of course. Mm -hmm. I set that down and spot a house house this plant. Like, I'm gonna have to yep, that away. Yep, pop that. Hey, little guy, keep being you, tiny house plant. I spot one last thing on the floor next to the house plant. It's a silver necklace. Wow, this looks expensive for something casually tossed on the floor. If there's a story here, it's none of my business. <laughs> it's been a while. I guess I should go in the kitchen and see what's up. Joseph reminds me of Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Hi, diddly ho, neighbor, you know. <laughs> hmm. I walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding Christy in one arm. She seems a lot calmer than she was a minute ago. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. <laughs> the twins are a lot more manageable when they're separated. Where's I know, she had normal eyes for a second, but yeah. now they're like, uh, again. Where's Christian? Yeah. He ran off. Christy dips a spoon into the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. See, she looks normal now. Yeah. Hmm. They're not doing the creepy twins. You're shit. too sweet. I like that they all wear no, pink, I'm not. pink and blue. Yes. <laughs> You're so sweet, we might have to water you down with spiders. What? No, not spiders! Ah! <laughs> Joseph begins tickling Christy with his free hand. Between the laughing and squirming, I don't know how he's got a hold of her, but that girl's locked in place. The man is a professional child wrangler. Christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes. Ooh. Renegade option. <laughs> Sorry, 
Christy, but I've been working with the spiders this whole time. No! <laughs> they bought my allegiance with the promise of flies. All hail the spiders. I like just renegade yes. off. Yes! <laughs> Joseph grins and continues his tickle torture. No one escapes the wrath of the spiders. After a few seconds, he relents and puts Christy down. She immediately retreats behind his leg, where she watches me quietly. Christy, don't you want to bake with Topher? <laughs> Renegade! <Yeah. sighs> Christy vigorously shakes her head. It must be my allegiance with the house tickle spider. Are you sure? You'll get first dibs on the biggest piece of brownie. Christy hesitates, then shakes her head no again. Michael Pony. Yeah. Ouch. Joseph covered up his disappointment quick, but that looked like a hurt. Oh. You don't want to bake with Dad now? You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. Uh. Okay. Go. Before Joseph can even finish his sentence, Christy is out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Uh. Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. <laughs> And that is still way too sweet. So what made that crash? Uh, egg beaters on a linoleum floor. <laughs> it's my new techno single. Still haven't thought of a B-side. Egg beaters on a linoleum floor. <laughs> mm. Now we're both looking into the batter. Got a Ooh, sickly sweet. sheen of sugar and chocolate candies throughout. I have a feeling Christy had something to do with it. Yeah. We need a fresh start. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really a baker, but... <laughs> yeah. Don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter, so we'll probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. He certainly looks confident. Baking is a science. You can't, really like, you is. can't, like, fiddle around with it like cooking. Mm-hmm. All right, Topher, you've baked a cake from a box before. Once. My God, they're still doing puns. Is anyone else seeing our ridiculous puns? I love it. Wow. How hard could this be? Now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. Baking mini game. Here we go. Mario Batali, save me. <laughs> Joseph and I set to work, cracking the eggs and mixing the things and then pouring the things according to how we assumed the back of the box would tell us to. Things go according to plan, and soon enough, we have a solid batch of brownies. Nice. Oh, no mini game. Oh, okay then. Woo! Wait, Joseph has a oh. oh. This is a married man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Joseph has a little dot of batter on his nose. Wow, Topher, way to use those dad skills. I'll bet you've baked a few box mixes in your time. His nose. <laughs> Joseph. All we have to do <laughs> is bring these to the bake sale and voila, duty done. <laughs> now help me find Christy. Keep your eye out for a pony that sparkles. Joseph, hold still. Oh. What? Thumb in position and got and... it. Ooh. Joseph's eyes go wide as I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose. Is he blushing? Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. No problem. In less than a second, I've licked the batter off my finger. Whoa! It's really good batter. Whoa! Got uh, just the right hint of Joseph on it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we, uh... We should find Christy. Yes. Yes, we should. Do that, Topher. <clears throat> anyway, mm -hmm. Joseph quickly Aww. composes himself. All right, she can't be far. You take the delta position and I'll watch your six. That means he's going to check out our butt. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. Mm -hmm. Do you even know what that means? <laughs> Alpha Tango Sparkle, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Joseph starts making his way down the hall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today while I get Christy. We'll meet you out by the car. Right. Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find fold-out tables and pop-up tents already set up. Looks like the bake sale is already in full swing. Yeah. Wow, this place is packed. Is this Packed? Inconvenient. There are a few people milling around. Must be a value pack. I did a lot of screaming yesterday uh, for both the stream and recording the Athma video late last night, so I'm a little. It's fine, babe. I gotcha. Fun. You want some? Um, oh, you have water. Yeah. Okay. If you can count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Christy rockets out of the car and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? I want to sell brownies. She's probably running on sugar. Yes. Oh. So same thing. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I can still do Joseph. Sorry. Okay, okay. Let's get set up. 
I want to see mom. She's down by the other row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? Mom! Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Does she always run that fast? Yeah. Yeah, and I can only catch her half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sit still for five seconds. Huh. Yep, great age to deal with. Hi. While Christy's gone, Joseph and I arrange all of our baked goods on the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? Oh. Look, if I don't see nothing, I don't say nothing. The man upstairs has strong feelings about snitches. <laughs> he gives them holy stitches. Yes. <laughs> Does he actually? Hey. Joseph shrugs. He eats a brownie. <laughs> it looks like some of oh, the other... Uh, you want me to? Uh, I wonder if we're going to have Mary or other characters. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, it looks like some of the other stalls are selling drinks, little handmade crafts, and other sweets. Whoa, someone bought, brought a soft serve ice cream machine. I gesture to it. How are we supposed to compete with that? Oh. Please, this isn't my first time to the rodeo. The bake sale rodeo. Oh. There's actually no rodeo. <laughs> it's just a bake sale. <laughs> I think you and I put together can make one pretty convincing argument for these brownies, don't you? Guys, just let me know if you are getting tired of these puns. You guys, guys are so good. It's been like 20 minutes. But it's really good. I like <laughs> it. Let me know. I'm happy my name isn't Steven close to anything ocean related now. Oh, my God. Oh God. <laughs> I like it. Pff, you're not quite up to scale, Diamond. Just please stop keyboard smashing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, uh, oh yeah, I hope so. Sneak another brownie to ease your fear of public sure. interaction. Oh yeah, confidence. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we high five. If you bake it, they will come. Hey. It's not long before we <gasps> have our first customer. Matt and his daughter, Carmen Cita, I think her name Yep, is. you got Matt. Hey dude. Hiya. My girl, that's my kid voice yeah. today. <laughs> Matt, Carmen Sita, great to see you guys out here. Oh. Happy to support a good cause. Plus, you know, as the owner and proprietor of the Coffee Spoon, an establishment that specializes in baked goods, I have to scope out the competition. Joseph leans close to me. Oh, this guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what recipe did you use for these brownies? Don't say you use the box recipe. Don't say you use the box recipe. Don't say you use the box recipe. Don't say you use the we box recipe. We improvise. That's just how uh, Nana used to okay, make. Okay. Let me tell you a story, Matt. <laughs> the way they made brownies in the old country. Yeah. That was all thanks to Grandma Grace. <gasps> grandma my Grace. My grandma is actually my grandma was Grandma Grace. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Travelers from far and wide would use, would make the pilgrimage to her sleepy little town. Simply to be amazed by her masterful use of chocolate. All that knowledge, all that experience was passed on to me. Yes. Hey. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Joseph leans over again to me. Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, lying is literally one of the ten me. things we tried not to do. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We'll take two. Actually, we'll take three. Yeah. I ring them up and high five Joseph as our happy customers walk away. Oh no. See? Not so hard. Yeah, I'm hot off the good feelings from the last sale. Who's next? So, what were the other options? We improvised and we used a box recipe. Mm -hmm. I mean, improvised would be true. Yeah. And box recipe is also true. Is it just you? we didn't have the. No, I'm just trying to think how the other two would turn out. Oh well. Oh well. We sell brownies to a bunch of people I don't recognize, but who clearly know Joseph. Eventually, another familiar face pops up. Dove! <laughs> it's Brian. Oh. Close enough. Oh. Can we interest you two in any of our fine sweets and treats? Oh. You sure can. I bet I can eat ten brownies. Must <laughs> resist. Or it should be competitive. Well, I'll eat a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> but I can <laughs> let the man yeah. buy his brownies. So we'll put you down for ten? Ha, better make it just two. One for me and one for Daisy. Coming right up. You excited for youth group movie night, Daisy? Yeah, what's the movie? Oh. It's a surprise. Joseph leans over to me. Oh. It's the Fast and the <laughs> Yeah. Ha! Fast movie! Actually, the first one, 
Uh, the Fast and the Furious. The first one is probably like one of the worst ones. I, I want to say it's like probably the third worst one. I don't know. Either way. Really? Hey. If you think about it, there's some heavy religious undertones. It's all about family. It's all about family. <laughs> Joseph hands a baggie to Daisy. Oh. I made sure to give you guys the edges. I love the edges. I like the gooey middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> so together we are a whole brownie tray. Clearly the superior part of the brownie topography. Thanks, Joseph. Have you seen that baking tray where it's like just yes. a snake? So it's all corner pieces. Yes. Oh, our, that's great. Yes. Our two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our stock. Hey. These are selling pretty hot. At this rate, we'll have enough money to pay for a new paint job on the church pews in no time. Wait, what happened to the pews? Uh, Ernest spray painted his rapper alias onto <laughs> them, Young Steinbeck. <laughs> I would have gone for young men in the sea, but I can respect that. Young men. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Speaking in minister ministerial terms, Ernest is hard to reach. Duh. He's messed up. <laughs> <It bothered. laughs> in terms, Ernest is kind of a turd. <laughs> Being a cool youth minister seems like a lot of work. Right. It is, but it's worth it. Oh. Although, sometimes I wish... Mm. Never mind. Whoa. What? The kitties are going wild back there. Hmm. It's kind of silly, but... <laughs> do you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on a beach somewhere in the tropics? Yes! <laughs> Fruity drink blended beverages, fall asleep on a hammock, you know, basically live out a Jimmy Buffett song. Joseph, I think about this every single day of my life. <laughs> I that actually sounds really nice to me. I'm I would totally love that kind of vacation. Mm. My dream is to live in Margaritaville. Hmm. One day, my friend, one day we'll be on island time. We make a couple more sales to some more church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Off in the distance, I spot my old buddy Craig. <laughs> Craig. Hi. He's going to be a hard sell. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes to these bake sales to test himself, to see if he has the resolve to refuse processed sugar. Huh? Are you sure you're ready for this? We go way back. I got this. Oh. Craig yeah. jogs up to our table with Briar and Hazel in tow. They're each finishing an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely we're going to sell them on brownies, too. Yeah, how are we going to sell them? Mm. Probably won't be able to sell to the baby. She's impossible to read. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to Craig. Oh. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Hi, Amanda's dad. Oh. Would you be interested in one of our delicious homemade brownies? Huh? Mm, I don't know. Remember that one time? Ooh, you can't spell diet without die. What? Tempt him? Tempt him, I think. Or, uh, no, I think Ooh. remember that one time. Yeah. They always talk about the good old days. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like, you know what? Yeah, sure, yeah. for the good old days. Let's do it. Now I'm curious what would happen when you no! can't die without die. Why? Okay. Remember that one time. Let's do it. Oh, geez. Are you going to do it? I want to see. Okay. Hear me <laughs> out for a second. You really think about it. Our existence is meaningless, right? Oh. Woofer. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to no. him. We hurtle through our lives and our flesh prisons that we never asked to be born into, oh, submitting gosh. ourselves to the daily terrible calamity of simply having to get out of bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. Life is tedious, painful, and although tiring, rare moments of goodness are fleeting. So we look to the sky and ask ourselves, is there any happiness on this godforsaken <laughs> rock? Yes, there is. That happiness is brownies. They're, They're called, called brownies, brownies and you should buy some. We're gonna, gonna go. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Wait, let's Wait, see how uh, Joseph, pissed yeah. Joseph gets. Joseph turns to me. Even the nihilist pitch at a pig sale being held by a religious organization? I thought I could wild card him into picking yeah. some up. Maybe next time, ease <laughs> off on the whole flesh prison angle. Okay. No, go back! Let's Thank God. That. All right, for real though, I'm feeling. Um, a lot of people are starting time. school soon. Mm -hmm. My gosh. That's another reason we move streams to Saturdays instead of Fridays now. Oh, that's smart. Once again, if you didn't get the announcement yesterday, we're streaming on Fri on Saturday and Sunday now instead of Friday and not Sunday. Not me. I'm not on I'm not on Saturday. I usually yeah. work Saturday. Mm -hmm. huh. Remember that one time. Hey, Craig, when we were freshmen, remember how our next door neighbor pranked us by switching out our laundry detergent with dish soap and how the washing machine exploded with suds? 
And then we decided to get back at them by breaking baking brownies for them, but sprinkling high-intensity hot sauce Ooh. into the mix. And then we watched them cry after eating it. I'm feeling less confident now. Ooh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I would feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more, for old time's sake. Huh. Craig thinks for a second. Hmm. Well, the yeah. The girls d just won a game. Mm -hmm. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Yeah. Even River? Oh. Actually, I'm now realizing their voices are very similar. It's okay. I'll eat hers. You've got yourself a deal. Woo! Yeah, best ending. The day winds down and we're pretty much out of items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back and immediately falls asleep in Joseph's folding chair. Box mix, huh? Ugh. Mary, it's Mary. Yep, yeah. Uh huh. Mary saunters up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else but than here. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Yep, they're selling like hotcakes, which is, uh, actually, they're just brownies. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> and boring and safe. Uh, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes dart over to me. Hmm, what's the rookie doing here? Ugh. I was just hoping to introduce Topher to the rest of the community. Mm. Uh-huh. You get a load of this freak show? What? Hey. Weird folk is all holier than thou types. Hey. Don't you think, Topher? Ooh, uh, Mary. Come on. Let the kid answer the question. Uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they seem nice is probably yeah, best. Probably. Uh, they don't seem like they're really excited to help out the church. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess. Mm. Uh. Mary, can we talk about this later? Oh, am I embarrassing you in front of your new friend? Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Mm. Can we please talk about this later? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. Sure thing, honey bear. Hey. Mary turns her attention to me. Hand over the cash. Uh, <laughs> hey. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm in charge of funds here. I hand over the cash we've made. It feels like a hefty wad, if I may say so myself. Hey. Thanks. Now give me your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix itself? Oh. Mary. <sighs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. I'll work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers to me. Ah. He's really good at it. Aww. Joseph. Pretending to be happy. That's so sad. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. Does he have like the darkest backstory or what? I don't know. If you decide not to go with him, I'll tell you about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Mary walks off without saying goodbye. Yeesh. Uh, um, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. Brownies fix everything. Maybe are, are you okay? okay? That's that yeah. seems genuine, I guess. She really likes pushing your buttons, huh? huh? Joseph shrugs. Oh. No marriage is perfect. Oh. You ready to head out? The the whole chat is like. What's happening? Oh no! Aww. Joseph and I load the folding tables back into my car. Christy nods off the moment Joseph straps her into the car seat. Hey. I drop Joseph off in front of his house. A small yawn sneaks out of me. Hmm. Looks like I tuckered you out, huh? I'm a sleepy dad. I think I might finally be crashing from all this sugar. <laughs> I won't keep you up then. Oh. Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. So happy to eat brownies. Yeah. Agreed. Well, next time I promise we'll do something a bit more exciting and a bit less free. <laughs> Everyone's labor. like, "What's happening?" Sad. Yeah. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You shouldn't have had to see that. Cat. I yep. I felt her go across yeah, my leg. Me too. It's fine, really. I know, but first hang out domestic problems aren't a good look. You barely know me. Hi. Let me make it up to you next time. It won't be Margaritaville, but we'll do something fun. Promise. I smile. I like that. Hi. Oh, and one last thing. Joseph tosses a clinged wrap, a cling wrapped brownie through the window. It hits me in the face, but I'm able to catch it. <laughs> it's the last one. You earned it. He's very Joseph, sweet. Joseph, please don't leave me alone with this brownie. <laughs> nope, too late. I'm already walking away. But. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph walks up to his home. He waves at me before carrying Christy inside. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Brownie. It's the Brownie. Oh. Uh...
force the brownie down my gullet, knowing full well that this will be my undoing. I will feel this later. Ah. I wonder what, like, what would be the significance of saving it for later? Maybe to give it to Amanda. Yeah. I don't know. I step inside to find Amanda doing homework on the couch. Hmm. Hey, Father Yannette. Hi, child that I'm required by law to care for. Is she being bad? I don't know. I'm watching her. Okay. There's a, one of the cats is in the studio, and they're mm. usually not allowed in the studio. Here, you can narrate too. I'll watch. How's homework? It's really fun and educational. Really? <laughs> How long have you known me for? Right. Huh? How was the bake sale? Good. I think I could have really could have made a good life for myself as a brownie salesman. Glad to hear it. Oh. So. So what? Were there any extra brownies or? Did you maybe sneak one or mm, yeah? <laughs> if you saved it for later, it would have been for Amanda. Sorry, kiddo. No dice. Mm. I feel immediate <laughs> shame for scarfing that last brownie. Actually, I don't know if it's shame or just nausea from all the brownie, but it could be both. Eh? Ah, oh, that's okay. Huh. Hey, if you're not going to bed anytime soon, would you be game for some real shark hunt? Some real shark hunters of Orange County? Well, the last hunter got eaten by a shark. Hmm. He did. I sit down <laughs> next to her and cozy up with a blanket. Awesome. Let's get in the line. Flip up sunglasses. I have some. Okay. Temptation. Whoa. Ooh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He's got kind of a nice soothing voice. Mm. Whoa, we did it, guys. Uh, we that are is gonna... all the dates. Whoa. No, no, no. Yeah, well, we'll check them next time. Next time. Guys, we have done one date with every dad. You yes. know what that means. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we should narrow it down to four that we do a second date with. Yep. And then we can, like, choose one from each of those set. Those will be the final two, and we decide who's going to be yes. our dream daddy. So, uh, don't don't type it out now. We'll think about it. Think about it. We'll be back next week and think about what four dads we want to go on dates with. Yes. So, um, comment. Mm -hmm. Comment on which dad you want to see, and um, yeah. uh -huh. otherwise, I will pick, and it will be Robert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not gonna lie. That last one really got me intrigued in Joseph. Yeah, I know you were like, yeah, Joseph. He's the vanilla option, but then you had then that you're like, like mm. I know. Then you're like, oh, yeah. Is he, he is he like? How can he be the vanilla option? He's married. <laughs> <laughs> that is not vanilla. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, Harry yeah. Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. They're still going. <laughs> uh. So yeah, <gasps> Big Damien got some from, from Damien Trevor. Craig. Yeah, guys. Um, go to the comments on Matt. Go to the comments on this video because we won't be able to see this mm -hmm. one. So go Di and comment on the actual video who you want to see second Diamond, dates if, with. Diamond, if you want to make a straw poll on Discord, go for it. Yeah, that yeah. works. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Yes, we're going to go. I'm hungry. and uh, yeah, It's time gonna... for some more glow up. Oh, my gosh. We're... There are only two episodes left. I know. Then we have uh, to find a new show. Mm, oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Love you guys. We're going to go. We'll be back Saturday. Big yawn. Huh? Big yawn. I don't know where we're going to stream Saturday, so stay tuned. Hope you all have a great week, and we will see you. Escalator. Bye. Also, check out the boy, Buff yes. Boy shirts.